Well, hey guys, what's up? Good to see you. I hope your Christmas was great. I hope your New Year's was great. If you're new to this channel, my name is Matthew. I'm one of the pastors at Gospel Fellowship PCA. We are a Reformed Bible-believing church just north of Pittsburgh. If you're in the area, come check us out. Listen, um, I just came off a vacation. Like many of you, I had a wonderful vacation with the family. Got to go over to Ohio. Had the Ohio fam come to PA. It was a wonderful time. A lot of snacks, a lot of cookies, a lot of Christmas ham. It was an amazing break. And so this is my first day back at work, believe it or not, here in the office. And so I thought I'd start off my first video of 2024 with a little bit of fun today. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to make 10 or so predictions of things that are going to happen in 2024. I think the year is going to be off the chain. I think it's going to be a crazy off the hook kind of year, 2024. It's going to be one of the weirdest. It's going to be one of the wildest. It's going to be one of the most unpredictable years that you've probably had in your entire life. And so I'm going to have a little bit of fun with that today. Nothing serious today. No serious theology. No serious conversation necessarily. Some things might be a little bit serious in this video, but most of it is just going to be pretty fun. I want to say one thing before I go even one step further about making predictions. I am not a prophet, okay? You know me. I'm a cessationist, okay? I'm not a Pentecostal. I'm not a charismatic. I'm not trying to to make any predictions or prophecies about the future, nothing like that. I'm just having a little bit of fun. I'm trying to think about what this wild year is going to look like, and so I'm going to make some predictions in this video. And then, hey, guess what? If any of them ever happen to come true, I'll say you saw it here first on the Matthew Everhard channel. Just for fun, we're going to talk a little sports. We're going to talk a little politics. We're going to talk about a little bit more sports and a little bit more politics, some other things that we might be able to look forward to in 2024. So with that notwithstanding, let's go ahead and get into my first prediction here. Are you ready for this? This is the year that the Cleveland Browns are going to make it to the Super Bowl. That's right. The Browns have never lost a Super Bowl before. I want you to know that. That's my favorite statistic about the NFL. The Browns have never been in a Super Bowl. I understand that. The Cleveland Browns won multiple championships before it was called the Super Bowl. Sadly, though, we've never hoisted the Vince Lombardi, but this might be the year. Now, let me just pause right there because there's a team called the Ravens on the same side of the bracket, and they look pretty darn good. In fact, the Ravens used to be the Browns, okay? But that uh, set that aside for a moment. I think the Browns are going to make the Super Bowl this year. Now, I'm not going to say they're going to win the Super Bowl necessarily. I'm going to back off that claim, but this might be the year that we actually make it to our first Super Bowl. If so, that would be absolutely outstanding. Now, listen to all my Pittsburgh buddies, okay? I live in the Pittsburgh area. I am still with you. I love the Steelers. In fact, what I like to do is I like to cheer for the entire division. So I'll cheer for the Ravens, the Browns, the Steelers, and the Bengals. Anyone in the AFC North that can win it, that's fine with me. I'll cheer for them, especially the Steelers. Love me some Steelers. But the Browns, my heart bleeds the orange and brown, okay? Now, the last thing the Browns had to brag about was making the playoffs like several years ago. And before that, you got to go back to like 1989 when the Browns won the Central Division in the AFC. The Central Division does not even exist anymore. It's now the AFC North. We have nothing to put on our t-shirts. I have no Browns Super Bowl t-shirts. I'm hoping that this is the year that the Browns are finally going to give us a Super Bowl. Next, uh, let's get a little bit more serious here. The border is a problem. If you're not paying attention to the news cycle, what is up with you? You've got to pay attention to this. This is a major national security situation happening here in the United States of America. I am deeply, deeply concerned with what's happening here in our southern border. I think, and I know this is crazy, but it is possible that you might see 50,000 persons crossing our southern border in one single solitary day. Now, you say to me, there's no way there could possibly be 50,000 persons crossing the border in a day. And I know that's a bit much. That's like way out there. But hey, 12,000 a day, we've seen numbers like that. 10,000 a day, certainly 8,000 a day. These numbers are huge and getting bigger all the time. And I'll tell you what, there is no stop to this. It's not like this is going to solve itself, okay? It's not like you've got a plumbing leak that's all of a sudden going to just stop leaking. It doesn't work that way. Leaks get worse. That's the way plumbing works, and that's the way borders work. If we don't do something to stop this major leak here across the border, the world is, is, is not going to just like run out of people to want to come to the United States of America. If anything, the world is gearing up for this. 
people all around the world are learning how to do this. They're watching what's happening. They're seeing the political moment and they're going for it. And so again, I'll tell you, it's not going to be surprising to me if we see 50,000 people cross the border in one day. If that happens in 2024, you saw it here first on my channel. Now, this next one I'm going to predict is the easiest prediction I'm going to make on this entire video. There's no question this is definitely going to happen. Again, I'm not a prophet. I'm not trying to make a prophecy. Please don't quote me later. If I'm wrong about being a false prophet, I know what Deuteronomy says about false prophecy. I know what Jeremiah says about false prophecy. Okay, I know what the New Testament says about false prophecy. I'm not trying to make prophetic predictions. I'm just telling you that we are set right now in our political climate to have the most unpredictable election possible in the year 2024. Everything that could go wrong is going to go wrong in this year, in the election. <laughs> okay, do you remember Bush versus Gore? Some of you are old enough to remember the hanging chads of Florida. If you don't remember the hanging chads of Florida, it was a wild moment where the election was actually in controversy for a number of weeks and even a couple of months, if I'm not mistaken. The Supreme Court had to get involved to help resolve whether Gore or Bush was going to be the president. This year is going to be absolutely bonkers. You're going to see everything possible to make this the most unusual election of your entire lifetime. You're going to see people knocked off the ballot. We're already seeing that. You're going to see more states trying to knock an opponent off of the ballot. You're going to see arrests made. I'm just going to call it right now. You're going to see arrests made. Um, you're going to see counting controversies. You're going to see election line controversies. You're going to see states run out of ballots. You're going to see misprinted ballots happening. You're going to see dead people vote. This is going to be a w absolutely wild year. And I'm going to call it right now. Again, this is not a prophecy. It's just a fun prediction. We're just having fun here on this video. You are not going to know who the president of the United States is going to be in November. That's not happening. You're not going to know who the next president is going to be in December either of 2024. You're going to have to wait till January or even February of 2025 to find out who your next president is. This election is going to be absolutely bonkers. And if it doesn't tip us into some kind of a civil war type situation, states getting in fracases with one another, kerfuffles happening all over the place in election zones. This year is going to be bananas, B-A-N-A-N-A-S, quoting Gwen Stefani right there. All right, next, Conor McGregor, let's go back to sports. He is not going to fight in this year, 2024. Now, um, I follow the UFC. I used to be a wrestler. I did some time as a boxer. Uh, had some time as a karate guy, so I like mis mixed martial arts. You, we can debate the morality of the UFC later. Okay, I understand there's a lot of shady characters in the UFC. I'm not arguing for that. Same thing's true in the NFL or any other sports league. But you are not going to see Conor McGregor fight this year, 2024, because he's done fighting. Now, apparently there's been an, a new announcement that he's going to fight at International Fight Week against Michael Chandler. That would be a very interesting fight. I'm just telling you, Conor McGregor has not been a serious competitor for a very long time, and he's not going to be this year either. If you're getting your hopes up to see the Irishman himself uh, defend whatever vestige of his reputation may still exist, I'm sorry to tell you it's not happening this year. McGregor will not fight. Now, next, uh, let's talk about some international politics here. I told you that the election is going to be crazy in 2024. That's my surest prediction in this video. But the other nations around the world are watching this moment. And I'm just going to make a guess for you here. I don't have any insight to this, but I'm just going to guess for you that this is going to be the year that we're going to see China finally invade Taiwan. They've been salivating over this opportunity. They've been waiting for the world to be in a moment where it has an inability to kind of rally the troops to defend Taiwan's independency. Um, but it's unfortunately, I think, going to happen and it's going to, man, I hate to tell you this, but there's going to be a third major conflict that breaks out this year. We already have Russia and Ukraine. We already have Israel and Hamas. That war is probably going to spill even further across international boundary lines as the war intensifies between Israel and other of its um, opponent states in the region. But China is going to make a move on Taiwan this year. You're probably going to see it just prior to or just about the time of the election this year, 2024. Okay, I hate to tell you that, but I really feel that that might be the truth. 
Okay, little humor here. Claudine Gay, you probably know this. She just was forced to resign for Harvard. First, there was the DEI controversy related to her comments about calling for the elimination of Israel and such things before Congress. You heard the reprehensible statements of several college and university presidents. And Miss Gay has resigned now as her controversy turned into a massive plagiarism event. <laughs> okay, much the talk in the last few days. But don't worry, she's going to recover because she's going to be named the president of Xerox. That's right. There are companies that love the idea of making quick copies of other people's content. And Xerox is going to pick up, uh, pick up on that and they're going to name her as the new CEO of the paper copying industry. All right, here we go. Making predictions just for fun today. You remember COVID-19? get ready for COVID-24 because it just so happens that the powers that be seem to have used COVID-19 to, let's just say, manipulate some of the election circumstances in the last election. I'm not saying that the election was, you know, rigged or anything like that. I honestly don't know enough about it to make any kind of declarations about that. Some of you have some very strong opinions on that. Definitely not trying to do that here, but I do have a feeling that you're going to see some kind of unusual event happened in 2024 that's going to make voting slightly unusual. Now, I already told you, and this is my surest prediction, that the election is going to be wild in every possible way. One of the ways that it could be wild, and again, this is just a fun video here, is you're going to see COVID-24 prevent a lot of in-person voting and try to move things back to kind of that more uh, easy to easy to control, uh, manipulated, send in your ballots, trust me, your vote is going to count, ballot harvesting type of a situation here as they try to prevent in-person voting. COVID-24 might be a reality. Who knows? Just for fun. But if it's true, you heard it here first. Okay. Uh, moving to a more serious topic here, I do think you're going to begin to see environmental lockdowns, okay? Now, there's no question about it in my mind that um, you, you're going to see more brownouts and more blackouts across major states and regions. Now, we've seen this before, especially in California. It's interesting, isn't it, how there's this major push to move away from fossil fuels like coal and natural gas and uh, oil towards the electrical grid but that has me worried because the electrical grid would be the easiest to control and not only that but if you're pushing everybody to electric vehicles and all kind of moving people away from electric or sorry gas stoves but everything towards electric it'd be a lot easier to just kind of pull that lever and shut people off if you want to keep people home if you want to prevent progress if you want to stifle the economy if you want to manipulate global events you just kind of pull that lever and boop oops sorry we don't have any electricity we've seen it in california we're gonna see rolling brownouts and blackouts all over the place and it wouldn't surprise me if that's more than just a technical issue that that actually becomes political in order to kind of continue to foist this environmental emergency idea on the people. All right, just, just a fun prediction, but if it happens, you heard it here first. Next, um, you're going to see more UFO congressional hearings. You're going to see more um, information come out, but unfortunately, for those of you who are UFO fanatics, it's not going to be very interesting. It's going to be more paperwork. It's going to be more he said, she said. It's going to be reports about reports. You're not going to see anything interesting in terms of new video. Uh, the video that does come out is going to be grainy. It's going to be the same three seconds played over and over again, just like we already have. Uh, Mr. Grush certainly has some very interesting things to say. Uh, these are in David Favor here, I think is his name. These couple of guys here on the screen when they gave their congressional testimonies. Very interesting, of course. And a lot of people are interested in this topic, including yours truly. But unfortunately, if you're looking for anything kind of groundbreaking, there will be more meetings, but not a lot of relevant information for you. Next, Olympics is in 2024. Can you believe it? It feels like we just had the Olympics, and that's because we did. The last Olympics were delayed. And here we go, 2024. It's Olympic time again. This, I'm going to make this prediction. I'm pretty sure about this. This is going to be the year of the trans athletes, okay? I don't know that they're going to do very well in terms of actual competition, but you're going to hear a lot about trans athletes 
the media, especially if NBC is uh, kind of running the show in terms of the, uh, you know, the video and the broadcasting of the Olympics, if the mainstream media and they will get a hold of the Olympics as major stories, you're going to hear a ton of stories, boring as they may be, uninteresting, uncompetitive as they may, may be. Unfortunately, you're going to hear a lot about trans athletes. This is going to be the story. It's going to be the lead, more so than the actual competitive nature of the Olympics. Unfortunately, you're going to get a lot of this type of stuff happening in 2024. I think it's possible that one or both of these guys might make it into prison by the end of the year. I really, really do. Just going back to how crazy our political scene is. I wouldn't be surprised if one or both of these guys sees the backside of a set of jail bars this year. Okay, now Trump obviously has the most court cases to defend, the most litigation happening in in his uh, in his arena. But Biden and his family have got some serious serious issues. I think the Hunter Biden laptop. And all of the Ukraine stuff, the Burisma stuff, I think that's going to come back to to uh, to really damage Joe Biden. That's just a, a guess on my part. But I wouldn't be surprised if, again, kind of the, the people who pull the puppet strings in Washington, D.C., if they find a way to get one or both of these guys in prison or at least in jail by the end of this year. Now, here's your sports champions for this year. Just a fun prediction. I have no insight. Okay, so please don't use this for any, <laughs> don't don't gamble anyways. But please don't use my insight. The surest bet on this board is that the Ravens are going to win the Super Bowl. I already told you the Browns are going to make it to the Super Bowl. Super Bowl. This is going to contradict my my earlier prediction here. I think the Ravens are going to be your NFL champions come January or February, whenever the Super Bowl is scheduled. The Guardians, ugh, breaks my heart that they're not the Indians. I don't buy into the DEI stuff. I really want the Indians name and logo back. But hey, let's just throw it out there. My hometown Cleveland Indians will finally get their World Series title this year. I have absolutely no sports insight to make that claim. The Penguins are going to win the NHL title. That's right. I got to defend my Pittsburgh, uh, my Pittsburgh location here. And then your Cavaliers. That's right. The NBA title. All of these teams, by the way, except for the Ravens, very, very mediocre. So please don't uh, don't base anything off me. I'm just picking the the hometown favorites here. Here's a surprise: my book, Hold Fast the Faith, is going to win the Christian Book Award of the Year, and that's going to be a major surprise because it's been out for several years. But but just for fun, this will be the year that they award a book that's been out for years as the book of the year. Of course, that's not really going to happen. But it is out there. And and check this out. The Grammys are going to pull a fast one here. They're going to give an audible audio book a Grammy this year. They've never done that before. Usually it goes to the Taylor Swifts of the world and things like that. But this year, that's right. Uh, David Martin's reading of my book, A Theology of Joy, Jonathan Edwards and Eternal Happiness in the Holy Trinity, is going to win a Grammy for Best Audio Recording. Now, that's a bit of a, of a news leak for you right there because I have not announced this yet on this channel, but this year, um, A Theology of Joy is going to come out on Audible. So there you go. There's some real solid news for you right there. All right, I hope you had fun with this video. Again, nothing super serious. I just wanted to have a little bit of fun on my first day back from Christmas vacation. Hope you enjoyed my predictions. They're all in good fun, of course. If any of them you think are actually going to come true, let me know in the comments. Or if you have any wild predictions of your own, uh, let me know. Hey, thanks for checking in. I do love you lots. I'll talk to you later.